Good day or good evening fellow collectors. I'm going to do a product review of the M22 low cost tank. It is a light tank uh, made by the United States the purpose of which is to be air drop. So this tank uh, is loaded into a glider towed by a bigger plane then released at a designated landing zone or landing field. So as you can see this tank is very small it is 1 is to 2 72 scale this is by the way made by uh, s model as you can see that's the s model so it's in a tiny box a very thin box actually uh, the one thing that i don't like about the s model is the packaging it doesn't have acrylic it doesn't have a base it's just all box in there so the, the scale is there one is 272 and s model so to see fits inside there you, they just put plastic inside it like this plastic you know you just stuff it inside to protect the model so i'm not too happy with the packaging but let's take a look at the tank uh, the tank is uh as I said, it's very small. So for a quick comparison, I have a Sherman tank, one is 272 model. So you see that is, you can see the size difference actually. And it's understandable because this is a light tank. Uh, it weighs about 7.5 tons, while the Sherman weighs about 30, plus to around 40 40 tons depending on the variant okay let's go back to this model so this model is colored green uh, it's a bit shiny actually I I would prefer if they would make it is like a mate gray olive gray but not too shiny it makes it more realistic See the gun of the M22 is a 37mm gun. So let's check the gun. Actually, the gun can be elevated and depressed. Elevated and depressed. The turret as well can turn, but it's quite hard, so just be careful. Okay, not to damage the model. And uh, what else? Uh, you can see uh, the the boogie assembly is quite detailed. See uh, the bogies, the sprocket, and the idler. And th this part here, the lights. Oh, it's it's made of very thin material, but it really looks good. Oh. And the vents. One thing I like about this one is this part here, the, the tools, the shovel. See, the shovel is like a, a separate, uh, no, a separate component of the tank. Not like that of the Sherman. It's just like, you know, it's just like, you know, glued into it or, you know. This one looks more presentable, actually. That's the shovel. I would prefer it to be, you know, made gray or a uh, little bit weathered. Uh, the same green color of the Dragon Armor models. Uh, I would like to have that kind of finish. But one thing also that I like about this model is the the, the exhaust. See, I think this is photo each part. It's it's made of metal and it has a rusty look it's a rusty look see so i really like this part so i think that would be all uh by the way s model usually uh, produce or make kits 
but they have finished models uh, like uh, this one and the one I made a review before of the Jeep actually that was also an S model <laughs> so I think that would be all uh, uh, one more thing this doesn't turn this doesn't uh, the, the wheels the sprocket doesn't turn not like that of the forces of valor model but I don't see this model on other brands like dragon armor or hobby master or forces of valor so that's why I bought this one and to just uh, to add to my collection because I, I have a few Shermans already and a few German half tracks but I don't have this kind of tank that's why I bought this one see the oh see the vents also it goes into that hatch there there's a hatch there the X hose the hatch so the details is good only the finishing paint is um, you know it can be improved I think that would be all and if you have comments or questions uh, just leave a comment and please like the video and click the subscribe button and hit that bell so that when I upload new videos you will be immediately notified thank you for watching